All right, yo, we are doing a Reina guide today. So we are going to start a new series where we just go through all the duelists. I've, everyone knows my race guide at this point. If you know me, you probably know the race guide. But we're going to go through all the different duelists. And Reina, she's not a very complicated one. She's just got a couple things. And we're just going to go through her abilities first. Obviously, we know, majority of people know Reyna's abilities. She's in every single game, pretty much. But yeah, Reyna has got her Flash, and then she's got her Devour and her Dismiss, right? So the only real utility you have as Reyna is your Flash. That's pretty much it. The rest of it is all reliant on your kill, which is why Reyna gets a really bad rap for, like, being a bad agent. When I think this agent is probably, like, the best ranked pick in the game. There's no one who really compares to Reyna because you can just snowball the whole game and you can hard carry more than any other agent in the whole game. So, like, this is the main thing with her kit, right? Is your flash. There, there's two ways, and that's it, to use your flash, okay? There's the way that majority of people use it, right? So this is the mistake people make with Reyna's flash, is they throw it, like, here, or they throw it, like, here. And it's pretty much at your head level. Now, when you, if you're the enemy, right? And you have to flick here and flick back. It's not very hard. Your crosshair kind of stays on the same. So you usually want to throw your flash like super high. Like imagine flicking up here and then trying to flick back. It, it's a lot harder for the enemy to kill you. So like, you know, we'll go over to this wall here as we usually do. And let's say we're peeking out like this, right? If we throw it like this, not great. If we throw it up super high and then we have to flick up here and then flick back down to me. A lot better and the other way you can use the flash and this way is really strong i've been testing this out a lot in ranked is the the rain of pop flash now i'm i might be able to do it over here yeah yeah okay so you see the way when the flash is like this you see if it's over here it has this cast time right takes a while to come out you have to throw it and then it's out whereas if you throw it like this you see it instantly pops and it's really good for clearing these closer angles. So let's say there's a there's a guy in here, right? If we want to clear this, you know, you pop it, not to the floor, but you pop it on the ground and it will instantly flashbang people. And you will, you can catch so many people off guard with this. It, it lets you swing way earlier than you should be able to. It's really good on these maps that don't have holes in them. You see the way, if there's a hole in the ground, your flash will like go through the ground. Whereas over like here, there's no hole in the ground. There's nowhere else for the flash to go. So it will instantly pop like this. That's literally it with a flash. Your heal is very simple. You just heal with it. And then you have dismiss. Which dismiss has some little small things with it, right? So with dismiss, you can walk through cypher tripwires. You can avoid killjoy ult. You can do a lot of small things with dismiss. Uh, you can also, like, you can avoid any damage in the game, right? Anything at all that could hit you except... I know Sky Ult still hits you if you're in Reina Dismiss, and I'm not 100% about Omen Flash, I don't think it hits you, but Sky Flash does hit you in Reina Ult, and that's about it. You know, you can avoid Raze Rockets, you can avoid pretty much everything with Reina Dismiss. You just go immune, walk around, do your thing, it's pretty good. And then you have Reina Ult, right? Reina Ult, it's, it's a 1v5 button, right? If you're, like, the way I, like, talk about reina ult is you never farm this with your orbs right unless there's just a free orb there that no one's taken you're not going to take the ult orbs right just not worth not really useful for you but having your ult is really nice because the thing about having reina ult is you don't have to use any of these cooldowns here so if you have zero of these left your devourers so that actually if your orbs right if you have no orbs left on reina then you can pop your ult and it will give you infinite of these right if the enemy had like 500 people you could keep going with it doesn't matter the, that's why it's kind of the 1v5 button of course you get the you get the stim beacon effect as well so your fire rate goes up you don't get the speed boost though so you get faster fire rate faster reload speed and every time you get a kill someone will drop an orb and you can pick up as many as you want it will instantly heal you rather than having to use the heal and then you go invisible off your ult that's reyna that's all our abilities very simple very straightforward nothing too complicated other than this pop flash which i really recommend you start implementing it's so strong but yeah we'll move on Right, other small things to mention is Reina ult also highlights enemies. I never said that. I forgot to say it. It's just, it highlights them in purple. Very easy to see in Viper ult. It's very nice. Other thing is Reina dismiss will also go through deadlock wall. So you can just walk straight to it. If you kill a deadlock, I know she's very rare in the game right now, but you can just walk straight through a deadlock wall. And you can also see the Yoru clone with the highlight which is the other nice thing, so you can tell if it's a fake Yoru, if it's a real Yoru. 
So other very small, minute things about Reyna, and that's it. Alright, so first up, again, as usual, we gotta talk about the economy, right? So, Reyna has a couple of buys on pistol, and I'll talk about them now. So, shorty buy, you never really do it on Reyna. Frenzy buy is honestly not bad. You can buy a Frenzy in a Flash, or you can buy the Double Devour. And that's pretty much your only choices, is do you want a Flash, or do you want two Devours? The way I think about it, now, these two buys are pretty much the same. It's the same difference. The way I think about deciding which one to use, let me just pause here. The way I think about it is, do I have an agent in the game that can flash, right? So let's say my team comp is like Reyna, Rays, Sova, and then like Smokes, right? So something like that where there's not many flashes. I have to buy a flash now. I don't really get a choice whether I want Double Devour or not. Whereas if I'm running like a Sky or I'm running a KO or I'm running a Breach, stuff like this, I'm like, I don't need the extra utility. I can go for Double Devour on Pistol and just pop off, you know what I mean? That's essentially how I think about it on Pistol. Now you do have the Sheriff buy, which I don't like because you can't, I'll, I'll show you with the next round, like after Pistol round. I don't like it as much. I like it sometimes, maybe on Breeze, but if you don't get one kill, it really, really messes up your economy for the rest of the, the next few rounds if you don't get a kill. So it's like super feast or famine on, on Reyna because you can't buy a flash on the next round, which is why I and to stay away from it, I go for one of these two, depending on the situation. If I, I'm just taking, let's say I'm fighting mid on Ascent here, I'll take my flash and I'll pop out with a ghost. You know, maybe I'll do this pop flash I was talking about. Go for a peek out here. And let's say I get no kills and I die, right? So now I'm stuck with money like this, right? So at this point, I can buy a sheriff and I can buy one flash. And this is what I was talking about, right? That extra 50 credits, if I spent the 50 credits from a ghost because a ghost buy and this is 750 whereas this is 800 if i spent 800 on pistol i can't buy a sheriff and a flash now which is my issue with the sheriff buy on pistol but this is usually what i'll rock with on reyna because next round we're gonna have 3300 right i'll try and conserve my flash and your devour is free so if i get a kill i can get full armor no no problem about it i'll run out you know maybe i click ahead here Bang. And then I can pop my heal, and now I'm a full armor sheriff on like against their um, their specters. But yeah, that will give us enough credits. If you see, I will try and keep this flash, like I said. But you'll see, we'll get enough credits even if we don't get any kills whatsoever. I will end up having 3300, which is enough for light armor and rifle. And I have a flash, and I have a dismiss. It's really, really strong. And the thing about Reyna is as well, because you're, the way your kit works, your minimum next round is 2,900. And you can actually, like, if you lose this round as well, you can just buy a rifle again. Because you have you have a way to get armor here. Your first duel you take is not going to be great. Because you're on no armor, full stop. Like, you'll, I'll show you now. Nope. I can still buy a rifle because of the credits I have. So I can run with just a rifle and my heal. And if I get a kill, now I'm full armor rifle again. So that's kind of the way Reyna's economy works. It's really, it's not too complicated once you understand those small little details of it. And you can just keep, like, if you're losing rounds and you want to just keep buying rifles, you can on Reyna compared to any other character where you can't really, you kind of have to save the money. But Reyna's unique in that way. All right, so we'll start off with Reyna on attack, right? Reyna is, like, she's usually the second person in, right? So in most compositions, you'll have a movement duelist we'll call them and then rain is a flash duelist so you're gonna be the second person in whereas like jet or raise or neon they're gonna be the first person out like past this choke because you need you need someone to break that space right so the movement duelist has to be able to get up to this choke we'll say right so you know the way you start off on b main here and usually there's gonna be like maybe there's a chamber or jet here peeking okay they're like this you know, as Reyna, you should be taking this first contact because if you die, it's not as important as if your movement duelist dies because your movement duelist needs to get out of here because as Reyna, you can't, you know, you don't have a dash. You know what I mean? All you can do to try and get out of this choke, if it's smoked or whatever, is flash up and just, you know, 180 all these angles and just click the head, right? We don't want that to happen, so if Jet takes this peak, or if Ray's takes this peak, it's unideal if they die. So as Reyna, you really want to take first contact up to the choke point, which in this example is right here. You want to peek this guy first, right? Maybe you want to do the pop flash I was talking about, you take this angle off them, 
And on A, it's the same difference, okay? As Reyna, you want to take this fight. Jet doesn't want to take this fight. That's the main takeaway I have with this attack side. The other thing is, of course, right then, your Reyna or your... Not your Reyna, sorry. Your Rays or your whoever is going to dash out. You can just start tossing flashes up. Maybe you toss them... In this point here, you want to have your flashes in a way that they blind tree if it's not smoked. Otherwise, you can toss them super high here. You see how annoying that is for a defender to shoot, right? They have to flick up here and then flick back down. It's, it's really, really annoying to play against. So let's say like a standard entry for Reyna here. On Ascent as well, by the way, Reyna is usually going to be the one closing the door. So let's say you get to this choke, right? You toss your flash up high. You come out here. Maybe this is smoked here. So you run up, you close the door. And maybe then you pop flash through the smoke. And then you go for a kill. And then you can get your way out. That's like a standard enough entry. If not, you're going to start scaling up towards generator here instead or you can scale around this right side which i like as well we're just on an ascent here by the way just because it's a very it's a very easy map to explain things on and it's the most like standard map in the game i, I don't know if you know what i mean when i say that but it's a very standard map it's, it's like basic valoran is kind of what i would describe ascent for so that's essentially your main way of going you know you'd make you flash out here you clear your corners you'd start scaling up this way checking heaven and then you have the site right the other way you can play reyna is a more of a lurk style it's not honestly bad especially on these eco rounds like if you have a sheriff holy go for a lurk i'm not gonna i'm not gonna flame a reyna for going for a lurk especially on an eco it's just the main reason like these lurking Reynas get flamed is because they're actually like full baiting over here. Like while they're four man over here, Reynas over here just baiting. That's where like the, the lurking Reyna, I don't know what to call it, like myth or bad rep comes from. Maybe bad rep's better than myth. But yeah, that's like essentially, that's the way you'll execute a site. Other than that, it's fighting for mid control is a big one with Reyna because your flash has infinite range. Like if I flash like this, Someone over here is getting blinded, you know what I mean? That's that's almost 70 meters away. Really, like, infinite range on your flash is why it's really good for fighting mid. And essentially, you're just looking for a 1v1. You're looking for a 1v1 that you can get a kill and get out of. That's the thing with Reyna, right? If you can get your 1, it's pretty good because you can decide if you took too much damage in that fight, you can heal. Or let's say, you know, I'm coming out here, right? I'm swinging out and I one-tap this guy. And then this guy swings me out of nowhere. I can just dismiss out and I'm gone. That's the kind of stuff we're looking for with Reyna. That's what you want with Reyna. That's her identity. Is getting a kill and being able to escape or full heal it. Which in ranked is perfect. Because that's exactly what's going to happen. Like I, That will happen very often. Is where you flash out. You get a kill and then you dismiss away. And this guy's peeking you. He can't do anything because you're immune. Really strong. It's what makes Reyna so good. And again, Reyna, she has no utility for a post plant. So it's all about positioning, really. With um, like... These post plants, if you have dismiss left, let's say you take majority of the site, it's like a it's like a 3v2 or something, okay? This door is still closed. You can like sit in these weird off angles like this, and then you can try and one tap a guy and then dismiss away, like over here behind cover. That's it. You always want to play around your dismiss range. That's how to play Reyna in like on defense and in post plant. If you have a way to escape, you're pretty chill and it's a good angle. But that's pretty much all of attack. The main thing you need to take away is Reyna should be first contact on these executes. Because executes are really, really popular and ranked. So Reyna should be the guy peeking this guy first. That's the main takeaway from this. And now for defense, right? Defense, Reyna is... She's not an anchor. You need to make sure you're never playing anchor on Reyna. That's why a majority of the positions you're going to like is like this position. You're going to enjoy this position. And you can also... You like these two positions here when you push out. And I'll explain that now in a minute. But you never want to be the solo guy on a site you don't have enough utility to stop the enemies it, it's just not your agent's job you know what i mean you're not a cypher you're not an omen who can flash and just play his life you're very much you're similar to jet but not as forgiving as jet is the easy way to say it right so the power in reyna is you can take a fight in any angle you want as long as you're in range to get out with dismiss right so as Reyna, you can sit in this angle at the very start of the round. And this is actually good because the enemy, right? This one's a lot more popular now, so this will get checked a lot more. But if the enemy come out here, they have to clear you standing here on this penguin guy. Look, so you're sitting in this off angle, right? And then let's say you get the kill. You can just dismiss away and they can't trade it. 
it's the power in Reina. You really want to get these annoying off angles in order to get free kills. That's the, how you... It's so strong on defense. It's so strong. So, like, on top of Generator is another one you can sit on. Uh, you can sit on top of this box. You can sit in any of these positions where you can get out afterwards. You know what I mean? Whereas other agents would have to play, like, behind the dice like this. So, it's all about throwing their crosshair placement off. And then you, you're able to get the first shot off. That's the real power in Reyna on defense and pushing these main angles. Other than that, you want to be playing super fast rotates. So you want to be fighting for mid or you want to be playing fast rotate. That's why I suggested these positions here. Super good for Reyna, right? So you can, let's say when the barriers drop, you can cross over here. And you can take a fight out here, right? Up like this. Other thing you can do then, let's say maybe this gets smoked off, okay? Now what we can do is we can flash super high, run out of the smoke, get a kill, and dismiss back into the smoke like this. And it's like a free getaway. And we can use their smokes against them. The main thing you have to try and do is catch a good timing on walking through the smoke, right? You can't just run through whatever you want. You have to really, really think about when the enemy aren't looking at it. Because a lot of the times, especially in higher elos, they will start looking at these smokes and predicting Rain is going to walk through this. So I'm just going to hold it and he's dead. So you have to catch yourself on a really good timing. That's why sometimes people won't even flash out the smoke. Because the flash makes it very telegraphed that you're going to peek. So that's another thing to keep in mind here. You really have to think about when to push that smoke. But yeah, when you play positions like this, it's very, very easy for you to get info at the start. So let's say you're chilling here, you jump spot. You don't see anything, you're like, okay, I'm rotating. You'll see people like Tens do this all the time. He plays some of the fastest rotations. In ranked, that's why he's one of the best ranked players. He's always ready for a fight. He's always in the action. He's not sitting in a corner just waiting for people to come majority of the time. You can op on Reyna. It's not insane. It's not bad either. It's Again, it's more of a... It's more risky than Jet because Jet can just dash away, whereas Reyna needs a kill. And that's like where the bad rep of Reyna comes from. The other thing is utility from your teammates is going to be so important and if you can communicate like a lot of you'll see a lot of reinas in rank they won't communicate whatsoever they'll just sit there and they'll afk they'll just play their own game but reina she doesn't have much util on her own which is why we really really like having initiators smokers anyone at all playing around us and helping us right so let's say you're playing reina on mid okay you're walking around you're doing your thing you and there's gonna be a sober dart coming up here right jet she could smoke the ground and get out right she can run away reina can't do that reina needs to get a kill so you need every single piece of help to get you this kill right so maybe you're like can someone shoot this dart for me and then you can push up and try and get your kill or you're pushing b main and you're like omen can you flash this for me sova can you dart this for me right maybe sova can you can you drone this for me maybe cypher has a cam in this window anything at all to help you get information on the enemy or flash or CC the enemy is really what you're going to want with Reyna. It's so much easier to get those first kills. And that's essentially defense. It's all about off angles and it's about playing around your teammates' utility. Those are the two big ones. And again, trying to find those 1v1s. Reyna's all about finding 1v1v1, right? You know, the ulting Reyna problem where a random, like a Reyna just randomly aces your team is because everyone gives her 1v1s. For you, it's about finding those 1v1s as a Reyna player. If you're playing against that Reyna player, it's about not giving her those 1v1s. And that's why it's so strong, right? I could peek out. Let's say I'm in a 1v4, okay? I'm sitting in this corner, and then I peek out, get a kill. There's my 1v1. Now I peek out here, find another 1v1, get a kill. And then I can reposition with my dismiss over here. And then I peek out again, maybe get another kill. You know, that's where Reyna becomes so strong. And that ult is all about continuing grabbing those orbs, repositioning, and then catching the enemy off from a new position. Even if they know where you are, you get to see them because you're invincible and you can check around the corner. And then you can set your crosshair up and just one-tap them. Yeah, that's essentially Reyna on defense. And that's pretty much everything about Reyna. Reyna is not the most complicated character in the game. Very easy to pick up one of the simplest characters designs but one of the strongest by far that's i think that's why it's so strong is because it really like it's not complicated so it's very simple and you can just focus on your gunplay i would recommend so many low elo players to just pick up reina to learn the mechanics of the game like if you're super low elo it's all it's really good to help you learn how to m use your mechanics properly and focus on them because you don't have to focus on anything else right if you're playing 
neon, you know what I mean? You're jumping around, you're focusing on your movement, you're jumping doing this, you're uh, doing stuns, you're focusing on too much. Rain is very easy, very dead simple. She only has these slight mechanics and some of these eco things you need to know in order to play her well. And that's essentially everything for Reyna, so that's gonna be a bit that's gonna be the video, boys. Thanks for watching, like so, all that shit. Uh join the Discord, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter as well, bro. No one's following me. no one follows me on Twitter. I don't know why. But uh yeah. I'll see you later.